Alright everyone, no DM the boy here coming at you with an actual deck profile and I have somebody with me. He is Gabu Bro, but his actual name is Azure PKK. Say hello. Yo, what's up guys? Yay. We're gonna go over a deck profile that he um, played, um, War Greymon. Yeah, we uh when I was on the channel before we uh we rocked Melga a lot. We've we've evolved. We actually run War Greymon now. Yes. Uh, so we'll get right into it. Yeah, let's do it. So sure. getting into it, uh, the deck's kind of basic. A lot of these cards are kind of gimmies. Uh, starting out for the eggs, you have two really good options. Uh, you have the plus 1k DP Koro, but I go for the the draw Koro, the draw mm -hmm. Koro Inheritable. Uh, I just find it to be better because uh, you're going to be swinging and aggressing, and being a red deck, you're, you're going to brick a lot anyways, and being able to have any card draw cycle of any kind is really good it has another fringe benefit that we'll go over later but we'll get there when we get there mm -hmm. uh, so that's starting off with that we got to go with all of the shiny cards first huh. yeah. that's fine we'll find it <laughs> so i do run four of this it's probably deeper deeper in the deck somewhere i run four don't don't mind three we'll find it later uh four agumon x antibodies this one's kind of basic x antibody super good you hard play it dig dig top three grab a graymon and the x antibody option Evil on top of Gabumon for zero. You draw one. If it's on board, you also search. So on play, Wendy Jolving. Super cracked ability. Really mm -hmm. good. Too good. Expensive card. Very shiny. Yes, very shiny. Uh, next up is the BT12 Agumon. Uh, this one's really good. It has a... Did you go from zero for Koromon? It's black and red, so it's pretty good. But our Koromon, it's fine. Evil's for one off black, but we don't care because we have Koromon. On play, you reveal the top four cards of your deck. So you can dig a little bit deeper. You can grab a Greymon or Omnimon in its name. And you grab one Tamer with Tai Kamiya. So sometimes you do get the really good double hit off of Greymon and the Tai. But usually it's to dig. And it has a really nice all turns. If you have Greymon or Omnimon in name, you get 1k DP. Finally, Agumon gets a 1k DP on all turns. Yes. Bless him. Uh, next up, really basic. Uh, still the best generic Agumon for power. We have the Promo Agumon. Basic. Has no real ability. Just inheritable. Your turn while it has Greymon in name. Plus 2,000 DP, pretty good. Sadly, not Omnimon, don't worry about it. Omnimon's <laughs> not, not, not a card we're worried about. No, Omnimon's still pretty solid, huh? <laughs> and then a final rookie, this this one I went back and forth on. We run one Shine Agumon from BT12. Now you're probably thinking, why? We don't run any Marcus. Because mm. I don't think so, we don't. We mm. run it because the BT5 Agu digs three deep, but grabs a Greymon and Omnimon, but the Omnimon hit is very fringe. If I'm looking for pieces desperately and I have to hard slam a rookie, I would much rather dig four deep mm -hmm. than three deep to find a piece. So we run it. It's inheritable. It's irrelevant. It doesn't work on this deck. <laughs> We're not suspending a yellow red tamer because we don't have any. Oh, that's interesting. So these are our rookies. We'll find that fourth um, Agumon X. He's in there. But those are our rookies <laughs> and those are our eggs. Yes. We run those. Uh, moving on to level fours, if I grab another. Oh, ha, there's Agumon. Yeah, we found him. We found him. Uh, for level fours, um, I actually changed this. I run two, two of the security attack and heritable Greymon from the starter deck with its alt art. We run, I originally was on this on one. I bumped it to two because sometimes that little extra aggression goes a long way with cards we'll see later on. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, Evils for two, really good card. Been around since the beginning, Bus busted, busted, busted. <laughs> uh, for other vanilla Greymons, excuse the lack of perfect shiny, we run three of the BT5 Greymon. This is the one that Evo's for two, but when evolving, if you have an Agumon, not in name, just Agumon in your source, you gain a memory. Inheritable, your turn while you have Omnimon or Greymon in your name, you get plus 2k. Really good for hitting high DP for defense and certain thresholds on level fives. We'll get there. Yes. But sometimes you hard slam an Agumon. If it lives, you can Evo on top of it for two, gain one back. It just gives you a little bit extra extension. Or... Sometimes you just want that DP. Right, right. DP is so good. The other vanilla Greymon is we run two of the EX1 Greymon. Uh, really good. Obviously, we're a War Greymon deck. We're running Ty because we have the Agu that searches Ty. We run him because when attacked, he wants to return. You can play a Ty Kamiya with a play cost of three or less from your hand for free. We only run the three play cost Ty as our Ty. And it works because you swing. You get a draw, of course. So one mm -hmm. little strat is you can swing. You have a current top of this, you can swing. 
if you don't have a tie in hand, you can use the draw Koro to draw one. And if you can top deck into the tie, you can play it off the Greymon. Oh, wow. So it's really good. Um, some people run the Beach Evolve Greymon that when you Digivolve, you can play a Taikami if you don't have one to play. Oh, yeah. I don't like it because you're promoting a rookie just to get a free tamer and you leave your stack very, very vulnerable. This lets you aggress later on what you already want to be doing and you get the tie as well. Oh, really good. Nice. I like really, that. Better. Really good. Yeah. Um, after that, we do run the very obvious restricted to one Greymon X. You know this card if you if you know anything about Digimon, you know this card's good. Evos for zero, Evos for zero for Greymon, dual color. Your turn when you did you all when you did you into a Greymon in its name. For each color, reduce its Evo cost by one. Mm -hmm. So super cracked. Protection all turns if you tuck a next anybody from your source bot deck. You stay alive from deletion effects and bot decking and bouncing. Really good. Nice. You know how busted it is. <laughs> Our final level four is we run three of the BT9 Greymon X. It's literally for protection. You evil for zero off a Greymon. You trash two cards at the same level. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can prevent yourself staying alive. Level four is pretty basic. These make sense, but these are the ratios here. We go the two, two, three, two. Pretty good. We get there. Nice. You'd be surprised how much that uh, that DP boost really comes in clutch. Ugh, so much power. So for level fives, uh, this is going to be pretty much in every single war deck. It's never <laughs> going to change. We run four of the BT12 Metal Greymon because literally card's just insane. Card <laughs> is just insane. The card's so good. Evos for four off a of black, we don't care. Evos <laughs> for three off a of level four with Greymon in name, busted. Right. It has raid. So when this Digimon attacks, you can if you attack a player, you can switch to your opponent's mm -hmm. Digimon with the highest DP that's unsuspended and raid into it. Um, and then all turns once per turn, when an attack target is switched, you can play one black or red tamer with a play cost of four or less for free. Wow. Literally any black or red tamer that exists, you can mm -hmm. play it. Right, right. Inheritable, your turn. If you have Greymon and my name, you just get piercing. Just no condition, just be, be in the archetype, you get piercing. <laughs> so good. So good. And then for the aggression and a combo we'll speak about is Metal Greymon X from BT9. Ooh. Evos are zero off of a Metal Greymon. When evolving, you get stack plus one if you have X anybody or Metal Greymon and Source, you get plus three KDB to the end of your opponent's turn, making you a huge Digimon. Mm -hmm. The the quick, really sick combo is your opponent can have a big a big Digimon in play. You can promote raid metal, tuck an X anybody underneath it, mm -hmm. you can swing security, raid into their Digimon. Use the X anti. You can use Coral to draw. If you have a Tamer, you can you can drop one down because you raided. Use X anti to go into Metal X four zero. Mm -hmm. Hit the Digimon, pierce through it, and hit security. I think that happened to me once. It that sounded familiar. It's a really really good combo. <laughs> I was like, it's it's insanely good. Sometimes yeah. your opponent sits on a level six, and you're just like, yeah, I'm I'm eight plus a three. You're eleven. Your promo Agumon mm -hmm. plus two. Your Greymon for BT5 plus two more, bro. You're a big level five. You uh, you kill a lot of stuff. That Metal Greymon's an actual like badass. It it's such a strong card. <laughs> Moving to our top end of the deck, uh, we have the shiny, very new BT12 War Greymon. Uh, let's go. It's really good. Has the same black text like everything else. Evos for three off the archetype. Has raid. We know what raid does. Really good. When digivolving, until the end of your opponent's turn, this Digimon gets plus 3,000 DP mm -hmm. and gains reboot until the end of your opponent's turn. Yeah. So you can swing and then all turns, once per turn, when an attack target switch, unsuspend this Digimon. Good for offense, good for defense. Great control piece, you can swing through guys with piercing, hit security, re-stand, swing at another guy if there is one, pierce, hit security, and if that's the turn you evolved into him, you can just you can just swing yourself in there and be suspended because your opponent's turn, you'll reboot. You're, you stand, you stand yes. back up. Yes, yes. And on defense, you block, you restand. <laughs> if you combo this with Metal Greymon X and you get that plus six, no other DP boost, raw this Digimon with Metal X and this effect, you are an 18k War Greymon. That is a really hard Digimon to, to take care of to answer. <laughs> oh my with, goodness. with the protection, with the Grey X and everything else, difficult to answer. Yeah, it's very difficult. I played against it twice. It's very hard. <laughs> very, very hard to out. <laughs> Uh, next up, we do run the one Black War Greymon. Um, in all of my playing, our I feel like my worst matchup is Hunters. Because a Restor Digimon Superior Mode, being able to have Chaos Degrade to be able to tuck your Digimon underneath another Digimon or a Tamer. 
you lose so much tempo on that and you're you you really can't afford that black war Greymon is that friend that one of that way for hunters you can blow up two of their three costs and usually you blow the three costs and those are technically they're, they're better tamers so you blow them up <laughs> puts them behind yep hit the ones with sources really good oh yeah for the final bit of control we run two black war x this works because the new tie spoiler he gives you blocker mm -hmm. black war grandma x has reboot mm -hmm. so you can granted you eat for five mostly because you're not really ever going to go over this because it rarely happens because it's a one of we don't worry about it you can swing same combo you mm -hmm. can swing raid mm -hmm. and actually just raw evo into this for five yes kill a digimon pierce security and the best part is because you have x anybody you'll rebound your opponent's turn if you have tie you have blocker you got plus one thousand and the fact that opponent's turn we know the effects um when your opponent's digimon attacks with the highest dp attacks you can redirect and then when a digimon becomes unsuspended if you have black or grandma or x anybody in source you pop their lowest play cost. Yeah. It, it's a really good control piece that the deck does benefit from. Uh huh. Man. Really good. He's a really good card for sure. I so, as a as a friend put it, we have the Swiss Army knife of our top end. <laughs> I love that. So, okay. final cards. We have our options and tamers. Uh, this is going to be pretty, pretty standard. I feel like uh, it really depends. We do run the very ugly, very 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 ugly. Uh, gold Hades Force. It's very ugly. Uh, we we know how good Hades Force is. People <laughs> want it to go to one. It's a good card. Play cost for seven. If you have X, anybody the option of source reduce its cost by two. Five cost option. We know how good Mega Death is. Yes. Um, you choose any number of your opponents, Digimon and Tamers, whose play cost equals up to equal or less than one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name and play. Pop everything. Then your Digimon with Greymon in name may attack. Nice. Re attack a, attack a player. Really good card. Yes, it's a this, really strong card. This and Black War, these are your hunter killers. <laughs> you worry about hunters and tamers? Bro, Hades Force for game. Yep. Really, really we'll take, good option. We'll take care of those kids. <laughs> um, final option, because obviously we have the combo of X Anybody. We run three X Anybody, because we have protection for Greymon X BT11. Yeah, yeah. And our, and our combo we spoke of with the uh -huh. Raid and Metal X and Black War X. Really good card, just all right for zero. Tuck it, strong card. When attacking, Evo. Mm -hmm. Card's been around for a long time. It's it's busted. It's so busted. It's so beautiful. For tamers, uh, we have a look. Th this I feel like you can you can alter. This is kind of the point where what you value is what you go for. We run two cool boy. Um, mm -hmm. Cool boy, obviously, the, like the best value <laughs> tamer. Hard play for two. Dig three deep. Grab a Digimon with X and variant traits and the option. Super good. When you would digivolve into a Digimon with X anybody in, in its same level X anybody, suspend, draw one, gain one, mm -hmm. bust, bust a tamer. Sometimes it's a good choke card, you pull put you to one, play cool boy. <laughs> play cool boy. For sure. Uh, because we sometimes value the protection, we do run the one Yuya. Um, it's really good. You can be the raid metal, tuck X anybody. Mm -hmm. You can swing with raid, raid metal, mm -hmm. draw off Koro, okay. switch to your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. Yeah. Play Yuya, mm -hmm. use X anybody, go into Metal X to get the effect, uh -huh. suspend Yuya to be immune, and get plus two more DP. Yeah. Wow. Really, really good ability. Yuya, so good. And then our final tamer, which is why we run the EX1 Greymon, we run four BT12 tie. Ah, uh, yes, tie. Three, three play costs, EX1 Greymon, plays him for free, raid, mm -hmm. play him for free. Mm -hmm. uh, start of your main and on play. One of your Digimon with Agumon or Greymon in its name gets plus one KDP and blocker to the end of your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. And then your turn when you when one of your Digimon evolves into a Digimon with Greymon or Agumon in its name by suspending tie, mm -hmm. gain a memory. Man. Yeah, that's really solid. Really, really strong because yeah. your floodgates can't stop tie because mm -hmm. you're not reducing it. You're getting a memory. Yeah. Floodgates don't stop that. Nope. Really, really good tamer. Yeah. You give the Black War X a uh, blocker. He has a redirect and a block on him. Yeah. You give Black War blocker. Yep. You block with him. He kills Digimon. He restands. Raid War Greymon gets blocker. He blocks. He restands. Oh, jeez. Really, really good tamer. Oh, yeah. So some people value the Yuya more because protection for options is really good, but I value Ty because if you if if you find yourself behind and your opponent hits like a bunch of these or you just set up a couple of these and your opponent doesn't... You're not playing the mirror; they'll blow them all up. Mm -hmm. um, you can, you you can turbo. 
Ooh. You can turtle <laughs> super fast. I could see it, man. So yeah, that is that is the deck that I run. Yeah. Um, in terms of meta decks, uh, Aaron, any questions? Yeah. Um, you, so you took it to your store championship. What um what, what were your matchups? So we took it to the store champ. Um, round one, we did fight the mirror. We did fight. Uh, we fought the raid war Greymon. Uh, we fought Danny. Shout out to Danny. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, the the mirror match is scary because it's really a game of chicken. Yeah. It's really whoever promotes and doesn't get punished, or if you promote and you get punished, yeah, yeah. It, it's tough. Uh, so, and it's kind of scary because if you don't want to push out, it's scary because you would play tamers to, to mm -hmm. stall, right, to make right. your opponent set up. The problem is if your opponent has the answer, they can just promote evil level six, tug X anybody, and hit your tamers, and now you're... Yeah. And, and now you're now you're way behind. Right, right. Because now you have to deal with their big guy, and you've lost all your value tamers. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the the mirror match is honestly scary. Right. I, it really feels like whoever promotes first mm -hmm. and comes out way further ahead. Yeah. It is the winner. It it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. The mirror sounds scary indeed. The Ooh. the black war. So the the combo with the raid is really good because Greymon X protection doesn't save you from battle. So as long as your opponent doesn't go into the raid war Greymon and just make their DP just dummy huge, mm -hmm. you can answer it. Right. You can answer it with just your level five combo. But again, if they get the raid, the war raid, mm -hmm. you're kind of in trouble because that we, we discussed that guy, that boy's big. <laughs> yeah, that's a fat war Greymon. Yeah. Uh, round two, we fought Chris. Shout out to shout yeah. out to Fiore. Yeah, Fiore. Uh, the I say mirror match, but like our decks aren't quite the same because. Chris is running the Tamer Hate Kid Killer Black War Greymon, mm -hmm. and that matchup feels easier to deal with mm -hmm. because you just don't play a bunch of Tamers and you kind of just establish board and power. Yeah. Because Black War X, he, he's just 13. Mm -hmm. If they have like a tie on board and maybe like the BT12 Agro Greymon, yeah. he's maybe in between like 13 to 15 KDP, sometimes 16. If you get lucky with like good DP boost inheritables, yeah. like Promo Agu, BT5 Greymon, the you, you raid, you, you have Yuya, you go Metal X, mm -hmm. you can just raid and swing into it. Yeah. Be mindful though of the Black Works protection because if you do go War Raid yeah. and you don't have protection and you swing raid to swing over the Black War X, uh -huh. you do restand before the attack goes through. Oh. Which then Black War X can use his ability to then pop you if you have no protection. Oh, snap. So be very mindful of that because all abilities trigger before attack goes through, so that, that can't happen because War Greymon's War Raids, it's not a May on suspend. He uh -huh. unsuspends. You have to. Yeah, yeah. So be very mindful of that, and you have to raid into it because Black War X reboots, so you, you can't swing to suspend a Digimon. Uh -huh. So that's why your DP boost inheritables and the level 5 combo, mm -hmm. really solid, really good. Yeah, that sounds sick. All right. Uh, round 3 is Hunters. Uh, shout out to Chase. Chase Oh, uh, Chase then. Um, yeah. He was playing Hunters, and Hunters is the one match I'm the most scared of because mm -hmm. <sighs> Superior Mode is an annoying card. That's an annoying, <laughs> that's an annoying Digimon. <laughs> But it works because you kind of have to be careful. You want to make sure you lock them out of colors because Superior Mode can only tuck you under a Tamer. Mm -hmm. If, for one, you have Tamers, so you don't want to play Tamers. You don't want to just willingly play Tamers. Right. If your opponent hits a Tamer, then just start getting your value off Tamers. Yeah. But if they don't if you, if you, they don't give you one out of security, don't play one because if you just have the one stack on board, right. Superior Mode can't answer it. Okay. Because they need another Digimon or a Tamer to tuck underneath. Oh, I see. So if you don't play another one, you're okay. good. Interesting, interesting. And that matchup, Hades Force, it's your best friend. <laughs> Hades, Hades and Black War and Black War, uh -huh. they're your best cards. Dang. Because if they talk cards underneath their tamers, you just you you blow up you blow up their high value ones. You blow up the Taiki that lets them cycle. Uh huh. You blow up their you that lets them gain a memory. But really, you blow up their tamers that have cards underneath, so that usually they'll spread cards out. Mm -hmm. Blow them up. Nice. Because you don't want them to get that cost reduction. Yeah. And all that free value. So we you, the hunters. Just be very mindful. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, yeah. I didn't. I did not play the final round, but it was gonna be against hunters. Yeah. Uh, we kind of how that matchup goes a little bit. It's kind of the same, but oh, yeah. those are the matchups. The only other meta deck that is really out there that we don't know how strong it's gonna be is Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Um, Beelzebub is very scary because just the the trash OTK is is, is scary. OTK decks are scary. Yes. Um, and that matchup, honestly. Yuya is really good because you turn off their security bombs if you go Yuya, which is really good. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you really, really prioritize all your protection. 
Yeah. Because if you stack all that protection, excuse me, <laughs> all that protection, yeah, they need to expend so much removal mm -hmm. just to kill you. And if you sit on a a, a war rain mm -hmm. with blocker, it's really hard for Beelzebub to get over you. And honestly, I feel like it gets Beelzebub. I feel like I'm in the win because they just deck out. Because <laughs> once you get that big wall out that they can't yeah. get through, all their effects make a lot of their effects make them trash. Yeah, yeah. So they're gonna run out of gas eventually, and if they can't finish finish you off or get through your guy, yeah, they're gonna they're just gonna lose. <laughs> they figure out. The, the yeah. good news is if you do stall them out, the good news is it takes them a little bit of protection. Your protection keeps you alive from their options. Mm -hmm. So if you stack a bunch of it, you have a couple of turns of just your your big your big dude staying alive, uh -huh. which helps because then you can start rebuilding a second guy in the back to, oh, they killed the first one? Uh -huh. Cool, promote my level five. Bro, I got another one. Yeah. I got another one. <laughs> and and that's that's Johnny the meta. Uh, one other card, Quartzmon. Quartzmon, not scary. Huh, really? You, you leave a guy in back, you leave a guy in back, mm -hmm. you get three memory, promote your level five. Yeah. Go go war grandma B12 raid. Yeah. Get plus three K swing oh, swing through it. Oh, oh snap. Okay. You you swing through it. Um yeah, you're suspended, you can't restand like if it's unsuspended, yeah. you swing raid, you can't restand because quartz mine. Yeah. You kill it, okay, well you've all into it, you punch her and reboot. Okay, I see it. You, all just, right. you just reboot, you yeah. still have you still have a time on board, you got blocker. Okay, that's the answer. You just kill it. <laughs> yeah, you just you just kill Quartz. Oh, okay. So Quartzmon, at least for me, yeah. I'm not scared. I'm I'm scared of Superior Mode, not Quartzmon. Yeah, Superior Mode's more scary in my opinion. Yeah, so that's 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 my deck. Uh, that's my deck. Those yeah. are kind of the, the the top meta decks that people see. Uh, can't play this deck in Ulti Cup. Don't worry about Ulti Cup. Can't play it there. <laughs> uh, doesn't fit color requirements. Right, right. Um, Aaron, any any other uh, questions about the deck or anything? Huh. I don't think so. We covered like your rounds. We covered the combos. We covered how like awesome Greymon is. Apparently, he can kill Quartzmon. That shook me. But yeah, he kills Quartz. He kills Quartz. But uh, thank you for coming on the channel, Azure PKK. Of That's course, pretty good. Thank you, Aaron. Let, thank you for letting me show off my uh, <laughs> my cringy, not quite fully blinged out deck and the the ugly gold cards. Don't 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 look at them. They're not oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. Uh, still gonna keep playing it. Agumon's the poster boy of Digimon. He's gonna get more support. Decks just. Dex is strong. Dex is very strong. Dex just super strong. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, Azure PKK will keep coming on the channel probably because he's giving me great Digimon content that keeps me involved with y'all. So it's really awesome that he's willing to do this for us. So thank you again. And yeah, we'll see y'all next time for the next deck profile. Probably EX Force pretty soon. So, you know. Very soon. So we'll probably have a couple more stuff. We're going to be cooking, you know. Blue, blue Flare, baby. It's a deck. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but... Digimon content, we're going to do more deck profiles. We're going to try. We're going to try our best. But all right, we'll catch you all next time. All right, see Take ya. Take care.